Hey guys, it's Pure Venom here, and I'm here to show you guys how to fix the Surface Pro's 4 pen with the Surface Pro 3. So in the most recent update with the Surface app, uh, one of the big things is is that with your pressure sensitivity and things like that for the pen on the S on the SP4 uh, pen, all you would get is this, and you would not get the button configurator. This was only shown for the Surface Pro 4. Now Microsoft hasn't addressed anything yet, but I I am going to be sending this to the Microsoft. Uh, Surface team, so hopefully that they're they'll able be able to fix this issue. So the way that you're going to get the button configurator is is that you're going to go into your basic settings, and you're going to want to go in here and remove uh, any Surface pens from the device. So if you have multiple ones linked up to it, or just only a few linked up to it. Um, just remove those devices. When you remove the devices, pretty much all it's doing is it's saying, I don't see anything, so I, can, I won't be pushing the drivers any longer. After that, what you're going to want to do, now I know some people don't like going into Device Manager and playing with settings and stuff, but this is the only way that you can get the button configurator for the uh, Surface Pro 4's pen. So the way that you do it is, you're going to take Compliant Pen, and you're just going to uninstall it, and the same thing for the uh, Surface Pen settings. You're going to uninstall both of those, and it's going to ask you if you want to remove all the files. Yeah, hit yes for that, and then after that, it will then not detect any pens currently. Now with the Surface Pro 3, it's very similar in nature to the Surface Pro 4. Um, the drivers are almost exactly the same across the board from what I've been seeing so far. Um, actually, you also on the Surface Pro 4's pen drivers, you actually do get the uh, pressure sensitivity that the Surface Pro 4 screen has. I haven't gone into th uh, like really thorough testing on it, but I have at least looked at it, and I said, you know, these are much more finer lines and also a lot more detailed lines if you go harder or softer. Um, but after that, what you're going to want to do is go to, go to the website. What well, I'll have it at the bottom here. Now, let me just blow this up a little bit. This is going to be the Surface Pro 4 drivers and all you're going to want to do is just hit the download button. It's going to download every single driver and firmware for the Surface Pro 4. There's only going to be three of them that we need coming out of the zip file that downloads. So after this downloads typically takes about a minute or two. You're going to go into your download folders here. You're going to double click on the Surface download and then after that, what we're going to do is we're going to go right into the driver settings. And we don't care about the firmware because we're not on a Surface Pro 4. So after that, you're go then going to go into the pen folder. And you're going to want to click on the Surface Pen. And all you're going to want to do to install it, you're going to right click. Whoops. Click on it, right click, and hit install. It's then going to follow the installation process. All you got to do is hit next and it does all the work for you. After that you you will then go into pen pairing and once again you'll find uh, find the INF file and then you're going to right click and hit install again. You don't need to be an admin to do this. This works perfectly fine as a normal user. And then after the very last one you're going to want to go into the pen settings driver. After all of that, whoops, you'll choose the INF file again and then install. So after all of this, you will have just your basic pen and also you will have your compliant pen. This is going to help you with getting the Surface app updated. After all of this has been done, you're going to re want to restart your uh, Surface Pro 3. I'm not going to do it on this because I am doing the recording for this at the moment. And then after that, all you're going to want to do is go find your device and repair back up. After that, let me close all these down for you. You should be able to get back into the Surface Hub, and you'll be able to choose whatever you like. So right now I have it launching to the desktop OneNote. Um, I am going to try to get it uh, for the long presses instead of using Tweedium. I'm going to see if I can get Visual Studios to l launch on long presses. It's kind of nice. Um, but this is going to be one of the big things that's been going on in the Surface Pro 3 uh, with the Surface app. Also, with the Surface Pro 4, you can actually download the Surface Pro 3 audio drivers. So you can actually get the audio enhancement uh, features. 
and they sound pretty good from what I've heard. I haven't done any of the testing on that because I don't have a Surface Pro 4, but from what I've been reading online and things like that, it is there. Um, but if you guys do have any questions or concerns, I will be also putting the links down below so, so where you can get all the information. Also, I will put a basic uh, little text article uh, in the description below also so you guys can follow along with that. But I hope you guys like the video and everything and all of the Surface Pro 3 owners at least now get to have the new updated features for the new Surface Pen. So... I hope you guys all have a good one. Enjoy the new enjoy all the videos and also please like, subscribe because it does help me out. You guys have a great one.